Okay, loves, welcome back to Exotic Tea Blog. I'm back with another video. Before we get into this one, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post to be notified. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and I love you. If you don't need subscribers, y'all should keep doing shit for me. I also love you guys too. And guys, I dropped a video on this channel at Exotic Tea Blog Reloaded. Link in description and also comment section. I'm going to pin subscribe and watch the video right after this one. Y'all should go over there and subscribe. Now, let's quickly get into today's drama. We've got a lot to discuss, but let us start off with Eve sending love back to Nicki Minaj. So, she saw Nicki Minaj tweet and also responded saying, dear nikki thank you so much for this i really appreciate i have nothing but respect and i'm so proud that i'm so proud to have seen you grown from strength to strength over the years as an artist mom and always stay through to yourself lord knows it's not easy for us y'all thank you for all the kind words blessings to my family it goes without saying the feeling is much more Eve. So let me know if you feel about this down below in the comments. So this is a good look. And I think Nikki and Eve had, I think they would get close right after this. Because, I mean, they was not really, really that close. But for her, speaking of Nikki Minaj and Nikki also showing love and also gratitude to what she had to say. And Eve coming back now with a sweet, I, th I think it's going to get a little bit closer. Okay. I think it's going to get a little bit closer. So you guys should let me know if you feel about Eve message down below below let me know how you feel about her response to Nicki minaj tweet what do y'all think do y'all think it was okay do y'all think it was nice and i hope y'all that was thinking somehow about eve y'all might have been cleared okay let me know how you feel about that down below in the comment moving over from there go derby names pink friday 2 as one of the albums likely to receive grammy nomination for best rap album the record is easily one of the biggest hits of the season, according to Gold Derby. So let me know how you feel about this down below in the comment. And let's be honest. Let's be honest to ourselves. Do y'all think they're going to give it to Nicki Minaj? No. Do y'all think she's going to get nominated? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not just really, really sure. The Grammys be playing on Nicki Minaj face for a very long time. And I'm not going to ever forget what they did to Nicki Minaj and I Spice or Barbie World. I'm never going to forget that. They literally humiliated Nicki Minaj and I Spice. Okay? They, they literally humiliated the both of them. But um, the Pink Friday to album is a body of work. He deserves to be nominated. I mean, he was the best album of 2023. Uh, child 2024 best popping album by a female rapper so she definitely deserves to be nominated she deserves to be in that category but do i think they're going to give it to her no plus now nikki being dragged jay-z i think it's going to get worse i don't think he will let them give Nicki minaj that nomination jay-z will let the grammys give Nicki minaj the nomination you know he be buying this at all shows so i'm definitely seeing what is about to happen i can see and smell what is about to happen but do y'all think pink friday 2 deserves to be there let me know down below in the comment do y'all think she's going to win because i mean most of y'all was like oh she deserves to win and we all know she deserves to win okay Nikki deserves to own a Grammy by now, but they've been playing in her face, and the industry think because of a Grammy, Nikki will stop. But she's still popping ish. So even if she gets a nomination or she do not, I mean, it's Nicki Minaj is still Nicki Minaj. She's still winning. Let me know how you feel about that down below in the comment. And also, Irmal Wiggins came out here showing love to Nicki Minaj, and also apologized to Nicki Minaj because he was a hater. He always came out to compare Nicki Minaj to those girls, and I mean, some people found him so annoying. So I mean, he went to Nikki's show and he saw the greatness of Gag City and he came back with his review showing myself love to Nicki Minaj and finally opening up his eyes to see what the queen is really doing y'all should listen to Irmal Wiggins so I was scurrying to my seat Nikki came out looking sick I don't remember the, the, the show run but all I remember thinking was looking around that stadium and then I had really really good seats and I was on the floor and I'm like that arena was packed and one thing i could say Nicki minaj is a commercial mainstream super 
super star. And sometimes you just really have to be in a moment like that to really understand the impact because, you know, a lot of times we compare her to these other girls and I'm one of them. And I really truly have to take that back and apologize because Nicki Minaj cannot be compared to any of these other female rappers because she is in a league all of her own when it comes to fans. Like, first of all, not um, almost none of these girls can sell out an arena back to back. You know, I was, and I went to different concerts and it's no shade of which uh, JT, I spice. Those were theaters. It's a different, it's a different vibe. And it's, it's, there's no comparison. Nicki Minaj had these arenas packed and not only were they packed, it was commercially packed. Like you had the blacks, you had the whites, you had the Chinese, you had, it was so many colors of the rainbow there. It was beautiful. You had gay, straight, you know, couple. I mean, it was every type of person there. You couldn't pinpoint what her fan base is. Her fan base li literally is a magnitude of everybody. That Nicki Minaj is a global freaking superstar. Okay. So you guys should let me know how you feel about this down below in the comment. And most people that posted up the video, they was like, oh, he coming out there to um switch up back to Nicki Minaj because he's seen that the other girl is ain't fucking with him like that. That is why he's switching up. But to me, I'm going to be honest with y'all. We all know Irma Wiggins once, once a Cardi B girl once a cardi b boy stuff like that they was really cool and he would come out just to drag Nicki minaj every single day he also came out to say oh cardi b is better than Nicki minaj he was part of those bloggers that said that but i mean right now he's seen the greatness and this is what i'm going to say if you stunning somebody for a very long time and you're trying to prove that that person is that person that person is that girl and she's not doing anything to support your point i mean you have to switch up too but i'm saying this as a Nicki minaj friend and also as a blogger i feel like Armand wiggins was out here saying the right thing even if i feel like he was still doing it for attention as usual i mean he was out here giving the queen her flowers and i mean it was great the pink friday to experience the pink friday to tour gag city experience is phenomenal you shouldn't miss it like you shouldn't miss pink friday too i went for the first leg i went for the second leg the shows was giving a 10 out of 10 nikki a you just have to give her her teens i know the paid most they'll be going to the show just come back and give it a bad review they know it's hitting so you guys should let me know how you feel about it down below in the comment not only that um fans believe nikki was out here shading beyonce this was so weird coming from the fans on a tweet and deleted post from nikki minaj she tweeted rubber on timing and fans are claiming that this was the same time beyonce was announced to do the um levers ad for the um davis jean car silver release in september 30th they was out here saying oh well nikki's trying to say Oh, another PR is time to cover her whole Jay Z's condo. They was trying to say that was what Nikki was doing. That was what the fans were saying. And I'm gonna say this, y'all so slow. Stop that. Nikki probably teasing something, or Nikki made a mistake with that tweet. Y'all should stop. She was not being shady to Beyonce, and if she was being shady to Beyonce, she wouldn't come out here to play Sweet Dream, an alien superstar on station head and show beyonce love i don't think nikki would be that shady towards beyonce she likes beyonce she do not like jay-z so y'all just want to make something out of nothing a single time most especially the beehives really be getting on my last nerve i saw their tweets they was like oh we're gonna drag on nika we're gonna drag on nika like can y'all pipe down like can y'all pipe down like y'all just want to make nothing out of something not something out of nothing <laughs> yeah y'all 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 should just stop there nikki wasn't being shady to beyonce and if she's being shady we would know nikki don't know i'm um, delete her tweets unnecessarily nikki leaves her drag tweet on her twitter is she dragging you she's going to leave the tweet there she's not scared of nobody she can put an ad on your on the tweet so i mean y'all doing too much online but let me know if you feel about it down below in the comment now unfortunately for beyonce and jay-z um jason lee is out here spilling the tea because he went to the dd party he claims nothing happened but he was out here mentioning plenty alien stars that he saw at the dd party when he attended and unfortunately he mentioned beyonce and jay-z again i mean literally we know they go to the party but 
Right after his laugh came out, people was out here dragging JC. Y'all should look at the video. You no, know, a lot of these celebrities, every single celebrity in the culture has been to Diddy's house. Which means they've gone through all his phones, text messages. I can read you my text message to Diddy. What day is it airing on the show, on the network? Are you coming on the show? Diddy, what's this? It's all been business for me. It's been business for me. I don't have nothing inappropriate to them people because I don't deal with them like that. So you mean to tell me all those late nights, what you doing, where you at? I've seen Jay-Z at his house. I've seen T.D. Jakes at his house. I've seen Chris Brown at his house. I've seen Jordan Woods at his house. I've seen Travis Scott at his house. I've seen um, Beyonce at his house. I've seen, I've seen Tiana Taylor. I've seen them all. Now we was all in the backyard, but I've seen them all. I've seen Usher there. I've seen the baby there. I've seen Justin Bieber there. I've seen everybody's been to a Diddy party. Uh, I've seen Lindsay Lohan, Ashton Kutcher, Demi Moore, Tyrese, Amber Rose. I've seen them all have been there. Mary, I've seen them all. But just because you go to a Diddy party doesn't mean that you were getting sprayed down with Vaseline and baby oil. Because I can tell you right now, ain't nobody ever sprayed me with nothing. And I don't even play around like that. Let me tell you about me. I am so private with my personal intimacy that I love the fact that my business is private. Anything I've ever made public, I've talked about it on my show. I've been pretty much an open book with the action activities. But I try to conceal the names because I don't want them people bothering them i learned as people started getting to know me they would go track down anybody i'm involved with and then harass them the people i deal with are private people they don't want their business in the streets and we ain't spraying each other down with baby so you guys should let me know how you feel about it down below in the comment wow he mentioned plenty names child he mentioned plenty names and i'm gonna say this People are focusing on Jay-Z because they feel like Jay-Z and Diddy doing the same thing. They need to take down the both of them. That is why the people are focusing more on Jay-Z and the Beehives is begging Beyonce to divorce that man before she goes down the drain with him. Because right after Jay-Z, sorry, right after Diddy, I think they're going to come for Jay-Z next. I think they know that too. So that is why they're trying to do all the shit to secure themselves. But you guys should let me know how you feel about it down below. What do y'all think about the celebrities um, Jason Lee mentioned? And do y'all think Jason Lee wasn't touched at the freak off parties? Because he went there, he claimed he wasn't touched. But allegedly, a single person that goes there get touched. Okay, let me know. Moving over from that now to the industrial plastic bag, aka the face changing alien Cardi B and um, the invasion of plastic surgery album. So Cardi B invasion of plastic surgery has now sold 11.8 M total um, units worldwide. It extends its record as the best selling female rap album of the 2010s. So let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment. Well, 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 the payola they gave to this album is paying off, okay? And this was when Atlantic still got that big budget and payola on them. Now, they flopping. They flopping. They cannot afford to give their artists payola. I mean, almost all the artists on Atlantic Records thrive with payola. Let's keep it real. They thrive with payola. So, I mean, I'm not shocked about these numbers. The I thing she's going to do with the next album, never. She's not going to do that. They got her head up. They gave her too much payola. And at the end of the day, old girl cannot sell she cannot sell singles she cannot sell tour tickets i mean she never gonna tour but any single time she's giving a show to her line she do not sell so i mean it's now like a normal thing for cardi b flopping 
same thing as Megan, same thing as Doja, same thing as I mean the girl is into one for me, no shade. But the delusional gang seems to be hyped about these seals for the invasion of plastic surgery album. They came out saying, Oh my god, she's going to do it again. She's going to do it again. They think Cardi B too that they haven't got an announcement, they they haven't gotten a name, would sell eleven point eight total million units worldwide for her second album they really think that so you guys should let me know how you feel about it down below in the comment and i call them delusional gang for a reason right they be thinking too much they be thinking they are that they are this they are that they are this i mean to me no shit i feel like cardi b knows that album is going to flop that is why she's stalling like this she knows without good payload package she's going to flop that is why she's stalling so um alanti can get up on their good foods and give her payola for the next era that is why she's stalling but you guys should let me know if you feel about this down below what do y'all think about the invasion of plastic surgery album do y'all think it's organic or it's payola because we all know it's payola but some of y'all might be slow so that's the question do y'all think it's organic do y'all think it's payola let us know down below in the comment and do y'all think she's going to do it again do y'all think she's going to sell stuff like this for her second studio album that has not been announced and the fans do not know what year the album is coming out but they think it's going to sell delusional people what do y'all think she's going to sell for her album cardi b2 what do y'all think she's going to do first week and do y'all think the album is going to be about being the fact that she has taken a very long time to put out any work like she took like seven eight nine ten years to put out a second studio album so do y'all think she's going to hit like before or do y'all think she's just going to do regular regular flopping cardi b of 2024 2023 2022 2020 let us know down below in the comment now moving over to megan the stallion so Chart David was out here minding their business they posted um the hub 100 charts for uh, bad dreams by teddy swims it debuted at number seven of five and one honey responded to that tweet saying if you post never play new charting position i will slit your throat so let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment and somebody added me to this child the drama like y'all so funny and the hotties be out here talking a talking a lot online but y'all scared are y'all scared? Y'all now out here threatening Chart did another post about Megan Thee Stallion flop, flop, flop song. Never play fell down to number 84 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Even a BTS collaboration couldn't save old Otis flopping AWS. Okay, he couldn't save her because she is a flop. Y'all trying to act like that song was a bop. Y'all was saying never plays a bop. Y'all just hating on the song. I love the song. I am listening to the song. I streaming the song. I do this to the song. I do that to the song. And I was like, the online support is mad. Like, this song is going to do great on the chart. I said it was going to go top 15, top 10. I was even thinking because it is a BTS collaboration, she would have gone like top 3. But a girl gagged me. She couldn't even go top 30 with the song. She went top 42. She fell down as fast as she could to number 84. Tells you a lot how Megan Thee Stallion is a flop. And I can see the act two is going to be a big boomer. Like she's going to be a big boomer. But Megan Thee Stallion today, her name, her accolades do not match with the stats. It doesn't match with the stats. She be getting a lot of hype online. But when you go up on her streaming, you go up on her sales, she's doing crickets. It doesn't match with them sales. But what do you expect when you think um, she is an e girl, but they just trying to boost her to compete with Nicki Minaj. You do not expect nothing. She needs to have that famous Nicki Minaj, but it's not coming organically. So what do you expect? Let me know if you feel about it down below in the comment. Now, lastly, moving over to Chapo, Doja Cat, and Caesar and John Cook. So Lado has now so Lado has now made history and surpassed um, Kiss Me More by Doja Cat and Caesar with her song seven with jungkook technically not her song jungkook's song um now is the most streamed 
female rapper song on Spotify history. So let me know you feel about this down below in the comment. I think it's like 1.9 billion streams. So this is good for Scratch If I mean, she can never do it on her own. The Sugar Honey IC album still don't cricket on Spotify streaming. So I'm not gagged. I'm not surprised. This is a BTS collaboration. That is why I'm scared that Megan is flopping. But let me know you feel about this down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bells. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And as usual, thanks for watching.